all need to do is put your hands together and make some noise for this brother coming up to the mic. He goes by the name of Warrior, y'all. So Warrior, some love. So y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. How y'all doing, Bacon? Hey. How y'all doing, Bacon? Hey. I'm from that loud state of Massachusetts. All right. All right. A city where uh, black folks got to speak real loud if you want to be heard. Yeah. So if I tend to sound a little loud, it's from where I grew up. Um, before I do this, I want to acknowledge all the artists that was here before you, man. All right. I'm a motivator, people mover, who just happens to be a poet. And, um, you know, I, I love this. I love this. I love the new artists. I, know, I love uh, you know professionals and the whole nine. For real, man. I don't hate on nobody. Slam, whatever you do, just keep you know making this world much more beautiful with art. You know, um, I have to acknowledge what's going on in Haiti. Um, I got friends who are Haitian, and um, you know, have lost family members, etc. So um, I'd like to give um, I like a moment of silence for them. This is not only for Haiti, this is for um, starving artists, dead poets in society. We out there, you fake revolutionaries. Y'all be cookie cutter, shaped like you and I versus these university educated, dressed down warriors. Machiavellian wannabe princess brides of Frank and Stein. But to thine own self, you be bougie. Your wine be white tipping down, telling stories for whom the bell tolls, but way out thou with my soul on I see you. Be a no show, holding no candlelight vigils when individuals of my familiar get killed, but you're more than willing to fill halls for your benefits, asking for donations for your non profit organizations, charging $100 to $1,000 a plate, the price of assimilation. <laughs> your head's wrapped up in self, your locks must be too tightly twisted because you just don't get it. <laughs> the struggle continues while you scan menus in open air restaurants over the bridge and serve through your favorite open. Price vegan sandwich. You dread when heads like me come through those smoky jazz coffee shop open mic spots, far removed from the pissy halls, graffiti walls, check ass and church moss, liquor store, broken glass everywhere, beer can, we lots of my familiar, my familiar. And I feel your sermons, your speeches, and your poems. I take them home, they excite me. And I work hard to uplift little Wee Wee, Jamal, Sean Quaid, Dog, Moogie, Nele, Shatia, Malik, and Michael to heights this right No doubt, no doubt. In the hood, my presence is felt. I believe I'm making a difference. But sometimes I feel like I'm all by myself. I need you to help me with these selves. The black folk be talking about you. Spoke the word, artist, poet, preacher, politician, teacher, type. That old ass, each one teach one, excuse me, but that shit don't apply anymore. Because I teach one and then some. Then keep on, right. then keep on keeping on teaching each one I see. And now these little shorties, some delinquent young heads be asking me where I die. Excuse me, but um, fuck Shakespeare. Ebonically speaking, where you be? They say, warm me up. Tell them King Cobras that spit that venom on them open mics to come on down. To my projects, YMCA, Boys and Girls Club, Soul Food Corner, Steak and Cheese, Sub, Block Mom and Pop, Breakfast, Hair Salon, Bob Shops, of My Family, My Family. But even my patience is wearing thin. Yo, this is not a threat, blatant, or subliminal. I'm only relaying a message from heads where I rest. Dear, act as ifs. I mean, activists. <laughs> Where you be? Yeah, you should come and see us sometime. Or else off with your locks. Sincerely yours, the hood. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, 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 I wasn't going to do that piece, but once they came up here and gave Sincere that plaque, <laughs> I was like, I got to do that because Reminds me, it's like in Boston, I was a youth counselor for um, like seven years. And I walked into a YMCA literally on volunteer, had no pay for a year, and then they created a, they created a salary for me after that. Yeah. And um, I never looked back. 
Um, one year is, man, unfortunately, I, I've seen kids go to college, um, get GEDs, and unfortunately some fall through the cracks and others have died, like literally on the steps. You know, so I mean, um, so for him to give back um, and do that, um, we need to acknowledge that every day.